Let's talk about the concept of schwa. What is a schwa? To understand schwa, you need to know about accent. Accent is when our mouth is open a little bit wider, a li we say a syllable a little bit louder and a little bit longer. So accent happens in the syllable that's louder and longer. In an unaccented syllable, the syllable is a not as loud and not as long. You tend to get a weaker sound, like a uh or i. Eh. And we mark it with an upside down e. That's the schwa symbol. We know that in an open accented syllable, the vowel says its long sound. Like in the word bacon, bay is the accented syllable. Bay, con. The a is accented and so it says its long sound. But when an a is in an unaccented syllable, it says the schwa sound, a. Uh. Like in the word alive, a uh, live. A uh, is unaccented. And that is why it's in that schwa sound. The schwa a sound can also be found at the end of a word, like in the word Africa. The first syllable is accented, so the last syllable is schwa. Africa. We don't say Africa. And I should mention that that schwa symbol, that upside down e is not used in regular spelling. We only use it in the dictionary. I can also be a schwa. In an open syllable, like in the word spider, the I says its name, spider. But when we have an I, and that's in an open, unaccented syllable, it doesn't say its name anymore. It says if. So in this word, cavity, the first syllable is accented. So the I, even though it's open, says I, cav, itty.